Welcome our new son, Boo Boo. Chasing each other around and fight. He's upside down. I'm a lucky man. Holding a little carrot. All the copies went inside. The baby spitting image. Look how cute. Mama. Look at all that hail. Are you okay, Homeland? Okay, guys. Welcome back to the good old Urban Rescue Branch. Today, Uncle Ben's going to be teaching you how to find four-leaf clovers. I just dropped one. I don't even care. That's how many, That's how good. I, that's how lucky I am. One. Case in point, you guys. I dropped one, and here's another one right by it. You see that? Oh, boom! There's another one! Bada bing, bada boom! Told you guys, I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky man. That's two four-leaf clovers back to back. It's not that hard to find them, you guys. You just gotta be lucky. We also found this tiny little snail on one of the clovers. Dude, we're gonna auction them off. I'm gonna press them in my Bible tonight. There it is, you guys. 30 four-leaf clover. I saw these clovers off the side of the road, so I thought I'd stop by and see if I could mog on you guys real quick. But here's the rest of them, you guys. If you find any, uh, please let me know in the comments. See, just put the timestamp and let me know in the comments real quick if you find one. Okay, this is for insurance companies. Today is February. It's February what? Oh! All the copies went inside. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Oh, we're getting, we're getting rain, hail, lightning. Oh, and poor Homelander. No! Hang in there, Homelander. These guys do have access to shelter at all times. But I'm going to go ahead and put a carport in here and in here for these guys. Look at all that hail. Are you okay, Homelander? Homelander, quick, eat the clover. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all that hail. It's big. It's the next day, you guys, and Homelander is fine and back to pecking at my window again. Homelander's pretty tough, isn't he, you guys? After getting dry, I went inside and spent some one-on-one -on -one time with this little precious baby boy. And this old guy's a lot like all the other rodents we've had here. Much like Big Ounce, he likes to be scratched on the nose and the face. And also, just like Biberton, he uses his little hands to hold his food. Only this animal loves to eat roots and sweet potatoes, and Biberton loves to eat everything else. He's also a lot like a beaver. He has basically all the appearance of a beaver except for his tail. But unlike the beaver, however, these little guys do not eat wood. And they reproduce oh three times goodness. as often, and their babies are weaned much quicker than beavers are, and they can live on their own at a very early age. Waffle, sweet potato and kombucha for today. But this is Homelander a couple hours after that storm, and as you can see, all the ice is already melted. All right, everybody, this is Gustavo's little enclosure now. As you can see, it's very easy to see in here. A lot less nasty sand in the water. And I don't know how I could possibly make a better setup than this for this adorable little creature. And even though these guys can get to be about 10 feet in the wild, his growth is probably stunted from his previous conditions, and it won't be for another three or four years until he's too big for this enclosure. But he has two different little basking spots up here that he could go to at any time. And tons of little things to hide in. And the water's real nice and warm. Putting these pieces of shrimp right here up on this ramp. And the beaver we brought in All Things Wild is doing much better now. It's going to take him a month or so to recover. Good morning, everybody. I have this kangaroo feed. And look at these berries. These guys don't really need any supplementary kangaroo food. And look at that big old pond that formed in the back here. But these guys have tons of grass to eat, as you can see, but it doesn't really matter. All that hail knocked the horse poop right into the ground. I can barely see any anymore. These guys have access to all that grass, plus this feed and all this alfalfa. And I won't be needing to refill this bad boy for a while. Do you like your Missouri kangaroo feed, the baby? I put some more hay right here so they don't slip when they hop in here. Oh, look at these precious little mamas. They sure do love that kangaroo food. And I'm sure their babies appreciate them getting the most nutrients they possibly can. I don't think this little woman that we rescued has one in her pouch, though. Oh. Oh my goodness, you guys. Give me your dad's email address. Look at that little hay. Oh, look at that little tail sticking out. That was your son, the baby. Please show me that little bean's face one more time. Arthur's over there munching away, and these guys have all this nasty chocolate milk to swim around in. We got another flood again last night, and look at this. All the water's just gone all the way up to here. I sure hope our pond can recover from this. This little man just fell asleep sitting here. Why wow, are some of them so EP? Oh my goodness! Look how cute this thing is! And they are learning to use their litter boxes. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm uh, looking out here at Kevin pecking on his food. I think there's a dead squirrel in their water, so I'm gonna go check on that in a second. Homelander still sucks and is destroying my porch screen. Oh, so you guys probably think this is Kevin, don't you? Now that we're spending more time in the office, Mama's a lot more friendly now. 
And now she finally sits in front of us while we work. Look how happy mama is. And I'm amazed that this mama raised all seven of those babies yeah. without any complications. And this little fella cannot ethically be released because they are invasive. So I'm going to be keeping this little fella as an educational ambassador. So let me know what you guys think we should name him. He's going to be a great little ambassador because we want to use him to teach people about this invasive species. Look at him holding a little carrot. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm wearing my retainer today, as you can can see because my teeth have been shifting a lot but look at kevin he sung his little song for me this morning i know these guys are well fed because there's still a little bit of food here and look that's kevin's son kevin's son is almost indistinguishable from kevin part of me also thinks that there could be a small chance that this is kyle's son true fans of the urban rescue branch lore will remember kyle who had that exact sound it's slightly different from Kevin's. Did you hear that? Soldier Boy does the same T pose that Kevin does, but he goes, ooh. But anyways, these guys are chasing each other around and fighting, which is so funny because it's father and son. And what's crazy is that the one being chased is Kevin. Also, coffee spelled backwards is EFA, which is funny. Homelander here is healed up almost completely from that little neck injury. This is the only ostrich in the world that'll let me do this to him. As you guys can see, that blue coat does wonders. I sprayed it on here and then it healed up almost complete. I've also been feeding her a lot more, so she's gained a lot of nice, healthy weight, as you can see. Not to mention all of their food is right here, so it's a lot easier for me to just bring it over and refill their buckets. But my garage is finally organized, you guys. Got my fishing stuff, some fake guns. I got all of this stuff, some Uncle Ben lore. And this is the filter for that big pond that we have in the marsh bird rehab enclosure. And I'm still waiting on Paul Kafringus to come out here and help me set it up. Please come to Waco, Paul Kafaro. The cappies are getting greener grass because the weather's getting warmer and I refilled their water yesterday. And now that this area is all fenced off, I can let them start pasturing out here again. We now have no animals in any of the rehab flight pens right now, which is kind of nice. Baby Gronk here is literally being sustained from the rats that fall into here by accident. If you look closely, there's lots of little rat and mouse footprints on the back of this thing because the mice are all coming into this tub to find water. And the second they wander over to here, this little guy will just snatch him. Patrick is also doing very well. He gets his cast off in two weeks. And our little rehab center is all set up and I don't even know the password to this, so I forget it. But I have two part-time employees that do know. These little goobers are thriving per usual and this one loves to just run up to people. And I think he will be the one that I keep. Oh my goodness. And in addition to a bunch of other projects we're working on, we now have an account set up for WRMD, which will tell us the exact medications and doses we need based on the weight of the animals we bring in. And their injuries and it keeps records of everything and this is what all things wild uses look at that you guys you can put add new patient and then fill out all of this stuff in here it's so cool but i gotta heat up some milk that i have in here for a very special creature now i start every day off with two little milkshakes one for me and one for this little baby good morning little creature this is an orphaned axis deer this was brought into all things wild believe it or not and axis deer are invasive here in the great state of texas there are about fifteen thousand of them running around in the wild come on buddy let's go out come on there you go this little precious baby was found in somebody's backyard whether or not he was supposed to bring it in i don't know 100 percent. but all things wild gave him to me because i'm actually a sanctuary for these exotic hunted animals and they can't really ethically release it into the wild because they compete with the native deer population this is actually called a chital deer they're from india and him and patrick over here are also both from india so even though these two can't really play together patrick now finally has a little playmate now this little fellow destroyed his bottle i have to rub the inside of his thigh you can and latrine them by getting a warm wet cloth and rubbing the inside of their thigh that usually works really well i don't have that so i'm just gonna go ahead and wet my shirt here with gustavo's water also gustavo's in here and he's so happy in here that he's so well hidden i'm actually gonna have to remove some of this foliage so we can actually see him from time to time but all you gotta do look he's headbutting me Native or non-native though, you guys, every baby deer needs to be latrined. This is what their mother would do for them. Thankfully, this shirt is just my friend's merch. But if you don't do this, they won't poop. And then they'll get blocked up and die. And this is what their poops look like, you guys. You want them to have a pellety consistency. Oh, calm down, buddy. But this is our new educational ambassador, you guys. His name is Boo Boo for now. I don't give the animals names until we have them for at least two weeks. So for the time being, I'm just gonna call this little fella Boo Boo. But look how precious he is. But the goal is for these two to grow up knowing each other and then hopefully we can put them out on the same pasture. But please go to the comments and welcome our new son, Boo Boo. And please pray that Boo Boo does very well here for a very long time. Hey, and if you guys don't like this video and pray for Boo Boo, you're, he's not going to be the only one needing prayer. <laughs>
<laughs> I always have to pet poggers after that because he watches me longingly and gets jealous. Because he also used to be a tiny creature that I would pick up and kiss. Now he's got a wife, a trampoline, and a cappy blappy to play with. And these guys have a lot of grass to work on here now. So we shouldn't need to be feeding them for a little while. As you guys can see, all of the grass is starting to come back in these paddocks now that it's getting warmer. This is a particular type of grass that will stay green even in the hottest days of the summer. And the only other thing I can show you guys is our turd, who is looking a lot healthier now than when she first came in. Those back hips used to just be an indent, and now you can't see her ribs nearly as much as you used to. But these guys sure are slow at gaining weight, and getting them back to the correct health is expensive, and that's why people send them off to kill pens. I suppose they gotta make glue and dog food somehow, huh, Arthur? <laughs> Lately, my morning routine has been coming out here, giving Arthur a little kiss on the cheek, like this. And then I brush her down. Look at her butt, you guys. Look how much healthier she is now. Now we just need to start exercising her. And she's almost at that size where I could start riding her. But she's definitely at a size where someone smaller than me can ride her. Now that she's a lot healthier, it's finally time for us to go ahead and brand her. We'll go ahead on the subreddit, you guys, and start thinking of some branding symbol ideas. I was thinking about putting one right here on her bum. You can't have any horse rustlers stealing my baby. But here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the baby. As you can see here, they've taken very good care of this grass. And as you can see, with our mama here, I do see a little head poking out of the pouch every now and then. Oh my goodness, you guys, look. Wow, that's the baby's spitting image. It literally looks just like the baby. Oh, and there he goes, back into the pouch for forever. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that little, he's upside down. Oh. And as you can see, my son here is very happy and a very proud father. Ooh, precious little creature. But that's all I can show you guys for now. I got to get back to work. The pond is still horribly flooded, but I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, Gort moment. Hey guys, it's me, Boo Boo. Don't forget to pray for my health and well-being and like and subscribe. Uh, love you, appreciate you.